Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Diwan and the topic of the lecture today is complicated UTIs. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what UTIs are, what are the etiological organisms, what's the pathogenesis of it, what symptoms does it manifest with, what treatment modalities which are available, and what happens if fungal infections come in. So first of all, we're going to start with what UTIs are, what is urinary tract infection, what structures might get affected in this? We're going to talk about further types. What's difference between, where's the difference between uncomplicated, complicated, and frequent UTIs? We're going to talk about what's asymptomatic bacteriuria and symptomatic bacteriuria, and what comes under their headings. Next on, we're going to talk about what organisms cause this pathology. We're going to talk about what causes acute uncomplicated cystitis, on the other hand, what causes acute uncomplicated pyelonephritis, what causes complicated UTIs, we're going to talk about different organisms and their pathology that they cause. Next on, we're going to talk about the pathogenesis of it. We're going to talk about how an organism which are, which are responsible for this pathology gets there, colonizes there, ascends there and leads to pyelonephritis or even in some cases acute kidney injury. Next on, after all of this, we're going to talk about what are the risk factors which are different, which are differentiating between complicated and uncomplicated UTIs. First of all, we're going to exclude them or include them. Next, we're going to go for the history. We're going to talk about the examination of the patient. If the patient has these perineal pains, prostatic pains, pelvic pains, what do we do? What if the patient does not have these pains? What if the patient has different kind of symptoms? What diagnostic modalities should we go for? How do we examine the patient? And what diagnostic modalities should we not go for? Next on, we're going to talk about non-localizing systemic symptoms, which are going to be leukocytosis, altered mental status, fever. What do we go for? We go for blood cultures, urine cultures, or exchange or remove catheters if the patient has one. So all of these modalities will be used if there are non-specific symptoms present in this condition. First, we go for the history, then we go for the examination, then we go for uh, our diagnostic modalities. Once we have done all of that, we go for the treatment options. We uh, specify that organisms, we specify that pathology, and we prescribe antibiotic related to that blood culture report. We uh, prescribe antibiotics specifically for that organism which is causing that pathology. So we go for different modalities. For pregnant women, we go for different modalities. For uncomplicated cystitis, we go for different modalities if it's complicated cystitis or complicated UTIs. Next on, we're going to talk about what's the treatment of asymptomatic bacteriuria. There's not much to say, but we're going to talk about what asymptomatic bacteriuria is. And in the end, we're going to talk about what if there's a fungal infection present. So we're going to go for fluoro, uh, fluconazole and how and for how, many, uh, how much dose and for how many days we continue with this treatment and this modality. So for watching this complete lectures and the variety of lectures which are presented at skyday.com, uh, which vary from anatomy, physiology, pathology, to pharmacology, and even to the medicine. There are thousands of lectures and there's a free trial for you. There's a free trial month for you, which can you can subscribe and uh, uh, get used to it. So for watching this complete lectures and the variety of lectures, please subscribe to skyler.com. Thank you for watching skyler.com.